Not my finest moment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a chef. Look at this. Ah. <laughs> What's up everyone, I hope you're all doing well. This is David Hoffman from David's Bin here coming at you from windy, beautiful Kyiv, Ukraine. Today I'm so pumped and I'm gonna take you on a craft beer food tour. I'm going to three spots. I'm going to Pankraft, then we're going to Kanapa, and then after that, Drunken Monkey. So two places are like pubs, the other one, Kanapa, is a restaurant where we're gonna pair all our food with some beer and maybe some other alcoholic beverages. Rock and roll? Rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> so where is this place? Where is Pankraft? Pancraft, it's underground. Down underground. There you have to, you have to go. Yeah. Oh, right there? What? Right here? <laughs> Crazy. Oh, because from outside, you wouldn't even notice there's a pub in here. This is awesome. So, unique place, right? Yeah, I get about pub culture, no? To be sort of hidden, near and hidden at the same time. Nice. Hey, David. Hello. Hey. hey. What's up? How you doing? How are you doing? I'm okay. Yeah, let's follow me. Just follow me. <laughs> you're, you're welcome in Pancraft. This is our bar. We have 24 tops of beer. Most of them are Ukrainian and a big beautiful fridge of uh, foreign and also Ukrainian beer. So just follow me and I explain you everything here. Awesome, awesome. So you have 24 beers on tap. So 24. Ukrainian beers, also international beers, right? Yeah, but uh, most of them are Ukrainian. 16 of them Ukrainian and 8 of them international. And you have a kitchen. So we have, of course, we have a kitchen. We have a lot of dishes. Yeah. This is our chef. The His chef. Name Roman. My name is Romes. Okay. We are nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So let's get a beer. Let's see the cold room. Let's yeah, have some food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. What kind of beer you prefer? Oh, dude, I'm a stout guy. Porter, oh, stout, stout, dark. Anything dark. What about milk stout? Milk stout. So this milk stout is from Red Root Brewery right here in Kiev. What is it? Six uh, percent alcohol, right? Uh, there is a six, yes, six point. Mm. Oh, it's so good. So it's supposed to taste like cappuccino. Exactly. It has some espresso beans. I feel, you know? Yeah. Mm. Oh, good way to start the day, right? Let's go in our cold special room. Here it's actually cold. Better to take your jacket. <laughs> wow, I've never seen that. It's 24 uh, detectors make uh, beer more liquidy, I don't know. It, it doesn't uh, give to beer, make a foam, big foam. Okay. And that ball, that small ball, when it's going down, it covers the hole. So you know this beer is ending. So you can, you know, in your system you have maybe half a liter, so you're preparing for ending a beer. Oh wow, so I've never seen like this. You know, usually you just see the kegs in the cold room, but you don't actually know how much is left. Yeah. That's why you, at a bar they'll, they'll pour and then it's like, it's done. Yeah. Whew, that's cold. Yeah, I'm, I'm freezing. Hey, chef. Hey, hello. Where are you? <laughs> yes, I have to put all this on. Kitchen, kitchenware. And what are we making, uh, steak? Ribeye steak, yes. Okay. This is salad. Okay. Ribeye. So they didn't add anything to this meat. This is just raw, right? Yeah. Just raw meat, no salt, no butter, nothing. Yeah. Awesome, yeah, because a lot of fat, right? Yeah. Oh, good. It smells yeah. great. And this is from farms in Ukraine, Yeah. right? Yeah, right. And right here we have some brisket. I'm gonna grab a tiny piece from the end. Oh, the spices. Mm. You know what it reminds me of? Like basturma. Ever heard kind of, kind of the, I guess fermented meat. Yeah, I think so. But it's cooked in the own. Okay. So I like my meat medium rare, and that is 40 to 45 Celsius. So he's checking it right now. Almost there, right? Still a little more. Yeah, so right now it's like still rare. So once the meat's finished, he takes it off. He lets it rest there for a few minutes. He adds some salt, some pepper, and butter. butter. Yeah. And that's it, right? Yeah. Oh, it looks so good. You're a vegetarian? Yes. No. Until today I was. Oh my god. <laughs> That's just how I like it. Medium rare. Look at that. And the fat. Oh, so good. Yeah. It's gonna be great. Oh man, that meat. I can't wait. That pairing with a beer. Perfect. So what are we drinking with this? For your steak, I guess better to pair it with an IPA. Uh, this is special IPA for one of our uh, our uh, main holiday. Uh, name of this IPA uh, Velikden. Velikden it means Easter in English because uh, it's like a Pascha. Pascha is our special uh, cake with uh, raisins and uh, some cream on the top. So here we go. Delicious ribeye, medium rare, salt, pepper, lots of butter, and this incredible IPA. Let me just 
Oh wow. Mmm, nice. Raisins, huh? It's good. Oh, here we go. Mm. <laughs> Very nice. Delicious, man. Like, perfect. This is my medium rare. Not too bloody, just right. This is this is the part I like. I shouldn't be eating too much of the fat though because my cholesterol is super high. I usually throw it away. You throw it away? No, are you crazy? <laughs> Don't throw away the fat, dude. The salt and pepper? Mm -hmm. Wow. So this is a local beef from the Ukraine. First time trying beef in the Ukraine. Mmm. Oh, nice and salty. For me, beef has to have salt. And I like it a little, like a lot more. <laughs> more than the usual, right? Mmm. Salty, peppery, juicy. Outside, like nice char, right? And pairing it with the beer, perfect. Hey, great combination. Nice beer, man. So second dish is a forschmak, it's traditional Jewish dish, but it's very popular in Ukraine, especially in Odessa and in Kyiv. So you need to mix it together here in this pan. And after that, we're pairing it with the goze. Goze is a beer with the salt and coriander. It's pairing very good with this dish, and especially with the fish. So for this dish, we have six different ingredients. You got butter, pickled onions, uh, cream cheese, apple, herring, and? And mayonnaise. And mayonnaise, okay. And then you mix, right? So it's gonna be a very creamy dish, right? This is more like an appetizer, right? Yeah, yeah, it's an appetizer. And that's it, ready to go. So I'm gonna put it on the toast, right? Yeah. Whole thing. Nice, oh, I can't wait for the herring. So you guys love herring here, right? Yeah. Herring is the fish. Especially with the vodka. The vodka. Mm. <laughs> I can do that right now, man. <laughs> You're gonna put something on top? Uh, smells fish. But you like herring, no? Mm. And my grandmother, she cooks this so it tastes childhood. It takes you back to your childhood, huh? Here we go. Mmm. I love the herring. Mmm. No salty. Honestly, here you're gonna get a lot of that creaminess, right? Mayo. Mmm. Like the apple too. Good combination. Pickled onion. Oh. So it's like the Ukrainian version of bruschetta, right? That's what I would call it. Smash noho. Oh yeah, super light, right? So it still has that crafty taste to it though. You know, for me, I just don't like it when it's super watered down, where it's like a super generic beer. This has nice taste. Uh, I, I don't know what's in it though. It's hard, every beer is different, right? Super complex. Unless you have the ingredients in front of you that tell you like what they use. It cuts the cream completely, you know, cuts everything. Palate cleanser. That's why you pair with beer, right? Or you pair alcoholic beverages with food because it helps you get to the next bite. Next up, we're gonna try some dumplings. So he's showing me how he makes it. So these are cherry dumplings. Let's go eat and drink some more beer. Last dish dumplings with the uh, cherries. So we pair with the uh, Imperial uh, Tonka Salt. This is the best Ukrainian beer. Very Nikki. Okay, yeah, so these are Ukrainian dumplings. So inside got cherries. Outside, the reason why they're pink is because they mixed uh, some beet juice, right, with the flour, and then we have sour cream. So how do we do it? Well, I'm gonna cut one in half so you can see the inside, right? Wow, look at that. So you gotta mix this, some of the sour cream, right? Mmm. Mmm. Nice and sweet. My favorite dish, this one. It's so good. Mmm. Mmm. Basically a dessert. So many cherries, nice flavor inside, very juicy, obviously. And the sour cream isn't too sour. It's almost just like whipping cream. Yeah. I'm gonna have to have another one. So full one, right? Don't cut it so the juices just pour into your mouth. So after this, I pair with beer, right? Mmm. We're gonna need a lot more of these, right? Imperial style. Best beer in Ukraine? Yeah. Best beer. 
number one in the rating, on top rating. Dude, I can see why. Wow. So it's a little chocolatey. There's like no espresso here. Like brownie, right? Yeah, more brownie. I was gonna say it's almost like a, like basically a melted brownie. Yeah. Oh wow, this pairs perfectly because this is like dessert. But right? be careful, there is 12% of 12%? Give course. me more. <laughs> and it's covered, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. feel it. No, you don't feel it at all. It's not one of these alcoholic beverages where it's like you taste it and it's like, oh, so much alcohol. This is nice and light. Obviously too scary, 12%. You'll feel that. I love this one. Best beer and best dish. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> Last step. We're gonna show you our special machine for canning cans. We can put any beer you choose in the can, in a small can. You call it a crawler? It's a crawler, crawler right? Yeah, crawler, yeah, crawler. Put here some acid to kill all bacteria. This dumplings with you, it looks amazing. Wareniki, Wareniki. <laughs> Thank you so much, Thank bro. You so Thank much. you. You're the man. So I, Thank hope, you. I hope we see you soon. For sure. Come in Ukraine, you're always welcome. This guy's the man. And the food here, beer, so good. Hey, just take the dumplings. No, 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 no. <laughs> Next up, we're going to Kanapa. Yes, warmed up. Oh, yeah, I'm warmed up. Wow, that beer. Energized. I feel good, I feel good. I'm really full. Today I've eaten like 20 dishes. <laughs> By the way, I don't think I mentioned it earlier, but this is the lower part of the town right next to the river. That Naipir River, right? Dnieper. Dnieper River, the river that divides Ukraine, Dnieper. east and west. And this is the lower city, Podil. That's how it sounds in Ukrainian language because we're in the valley of the river, Podolu uh, Gari and uh, Podolini Riki. So the river is right next to us, Dnieper. <laughs> And uh, the peculiarity of this part, uh, it has the low architecture from the 19th century. This street, which is like the main pedestrian part, it has no trees in it, which is another unique thing about it. It's called Sagay Dachnava after the name of this very guy. It's a, a Ukrainian Getzman Kozak. Uh, Again, leader of Ukrainian nation. And so what is that? It's like the Eye of Kiev? Yeah, Eye of Kiev, uh, right on one of the main squares. They too, they make uh, fairs here, playgrounds. This is the, more like a pedestrian zone, right? It's not actually a pedestrian street. Cars do come through here, but very little. And you said no trees. No trees. And 50% of Kiev is green, uh -huh. so it's a little rare. You know, no more than two stories each building, very historical. And the restaurant is that way? Yeah. yeah. Somewhere that Somewhere. way. <laughs> This is Andreevsky Descent. Uh, the most Kiev street of all Kiev streets. Whoa, this is awesome. Propaganda collection. <laughs> nice. How much for one of these? Less than $10. $10? Okay. I love this. This is great. So I'm going to take this one, which is the Russian astronaut, right? The woman, Russian astronaut. She's the Kiedyshka. only one, right? Yeah, yeah. And you bend it like that, it's okay? It won't. Don't ruin it, man. Don't ruin it. Okay, so I'm taking two of these beautiful, uh, I guess, mini posters, right? One of them is the first uh, Soviet female in space. And the other one is Sputnik. If you guys don't know what Sputnik was, that was the first satellite to ever go into space. The Russians or the Soviets beat the Americans to it. Jakuyu. Jakuyu. Merci. No, no, merci. Jakuyu. It's international no. here. You see the... I know, I know. So it costs, yeah, just, no. it costs 400. Thank you very much. The so thank you. <laughs> yeah, our yeah. ticket yes. ticket to the moon. <laughs> American, Americanski. I love as American. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Me too. No, Chicago. Chicago Miami, Chicago. Miami. Oh, Miami. No, Chicago. <laughs> I'm asking you guys. This is the most famous touristic street. The most famous touristic street. Andre? Andreevsky. Spus. Andreevsky Uzviz in Ukrainian. <laughs> it's a workout. Yeah. It's going uphill the catching, whole way. Catching yeah. The By the way, it costs 400. How do you say the currency? Grivna. Grivna. So 400 Grivna, which is like 13 US dollars. And that is like original from the library here in Kiev. The place where you got it also matters. Yeah? Because it's a historical place, the most Kiev street of all Kiev streets. Oh, amazing. I'm gonna put that on my wall. I love space. I'm all about space. I want to go to the moon one day, hopefully in my lifetime. Uh, and yeah, I, I mean, I chose the woman because I believe in female power. You know, I have two girls. And 
<laughs> Where is the space? And this is kanapa, traditional Ukrainian food in a 19th century wooden house. Very beautiful on this epic street. And right behind us, we have that St. Andrew's church, right? Yeah. I'm remembering. All right, let's go inside. <laughs> Hello! Hi David! Welcome to Kanapa. Please come inside. Thank you. So this is a 19th century home. Wow, look at this. Look how much light is in here. So this obviously was the living room, right? Beautiful. Yes. And your name is Anna. My name is Anna. Just like my wife. Okay, awesome. <laughs> so living room over here in the back we have a terrace. So it's a secret room, right? Secret room downstairs, right? Okay. So what are we gonna do today? What are we eating? We prepare something special for you. Okay. So I would like to come with you to the kitchen and okay. show you. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Here is Vitalia. Hello. Hello. How are you, David? Pleasure. Nice Hello. to meet you. Vitalia. Come yeah. Italia. Okay. So, got an apron. Nice. Okay. And what did it say on it? Ukrainian national culinary team. Wow. Is that you? Yeah. No way. Uh, будем готовить вареники. I don't understand anything you're saying, <laughs> but we're doing some dumplings, right? Yes, but this is not regular dumplings. This is like two kind of dumplings, one with mushrooms, other one with potato. They're like putting together and making one big, more interesting than just regular one. And we want you to try make it. Yeah, she's uh, saying that she, they have a special dough of their own technology without yeast that allows them to make uh, their own dumplings, vareniki. Basically almost flattened it, now she's gonna roll it out and then she's gonna put it in this machine to make it even flatter. Yeah. Right? That's the process? You were almost right, but uh, historically true, authentic way to do vareniki, it's a handmade. Everything should be done with the hands, but because they have uh, lots of lots of uh, production, they, made, they need to do it fast, so that's why they need machine. Obviously, always put flour so it doesn't stick. Vitalia is her name, Vitale. but how do you say this? Vareniki. Vareniki. So this is why you're going to have a lot here in Ukraine. Incredible dumplings. This one's potato, right? The other one's going to be mushroom. And these are small, very small, huh? So each portion... Vareniki okala 10 gram. Okay, so 15 per portion, right? No, no, 10 gram. Oh, that's cool. So she united both of them and makes one like a double. That's amazing. It's a love story. It is a love story. I like that. Grab a little bit. Yeah, you grab that one. I grab this one. So this is how it's gonna be. This is great. No, no. no. Too much. So I did a little too much, right? And then close it. Okay, close, close, close. This one, not my finest moment. <laughs> I'm not a chef. Look at this. Ah. Okay, put it right there. Okay, the next one will be better. Mm. If, it's, if it's not strong enough, you, the dough will be very strong. Okay, so. So close there, right? Palchikam. Palchikam, push down. Help yourself with the finger. I, just, I overdid it. No, it's okay. Yes. Is that? It's okay? Seal it, seal it, seal it. Press hard, press hard, yeah. So you can do it. She's going left to right, I'm doing the opposite. And uh, mine's not the best, but. So she's saying that you have to press them together and close it correctly as much as you can because if we put it into boil and you didn't do that, it's gonna fall apart, right? And it's four minutes to boil, really fast. So this is the hard process. <laughs> By the way, the main ingredient is not the potatoes, the dough, or the mushrooms. It's her hands. You do it with love. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Look at that, what is that? Homemade cordials. So, usually it's the vodka, which are uh, based on different fruits and berries. And here's the different kinds. They can be sweet, they can be sour, they can be spicy. So, let me try it. We do have on the table the first dish is the Ukrainian red borscht. It has some sweet flavor. Except of that, you have the lard, which comes perfectly to the borscht. You have the black vareniki with the pipe perch and smoked bacon filling. And also a few dishes more. The Ukrainian pate with mune fall liver and the rabbit aspic. So it's everything, the traditional um, recipes in Ukraine, but we do it in modern way. To be honest, I'm hungry. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, about time. <laughs> it's about time, yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, so we're starting off with the borscht. So here they just say borscht, no soup, borscht. And traditionally with pork, this one has pork and beef, and then also um, plums, beets, right? So beetroot, and then sour cream. On the side we have some garlic bread, and over here we have two different pieces of fat from the pork, and that is baked fat, and the other one is just raw. I love that. So wild, okay, cool. And then it comes with some spice, and then we're pairing it with this one, right? Horseradish. Oh, that's bitter. Mmm, it's spicy. <laughs> so it's supposed to what, be digested? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I'm sure it's a palate cleanser for the next one, right? And then cleanse your palate on the way to the next dish. So traditionally, you guys start with the borscht, right? Yeah. And here we have a big chunk of beef. We have some onions, right? Mmm. 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 There's so many flavors here. Mmm. If you're just gonna go for the soup, just the liquid, it'll be light, mm. right? A little oily. Mmm, no spices. I mean, you taste, you taste the beetroot right away. Mm. The prunes as well. Oh wow, this is so good. I mean, this is a hearty meal, right? You're supposed to have this in winter, everybody has it. Everybody has it every day here, but yeah, winter yeah. is like when you have it the most. Sometimes and then- for breakfast, to dinner, and to supper. And summer, you take out the protein. That's like, somebody said that today. Uh, right? Lighter, yeah. I'm enjoying this one. Wow, it's a good dish. And so basically every single restaurant we're gonna go to, they can, they'll can, serve borscht, right? In Ukraine, yeah. In Ukraine, wow. And then I have to keep it light. Now I got fat, that's baked, so I'll go with raw. All right, get some of the spice, go with the raw pork fat. It's supposed to pair with the borscht, right? Yeah. All right. To be honest, the spice was like, woo! <laughs> so gelatin, this is super spice. It's not as spicy as the thing we had earlier, but mm -hmm. wow. Well, and then over here we have a marinated gooseberry, right? So I'm gonna have that with the baked fat. Mm. The big fat's incredible. Garlic bread? Mm-hmm. Mm. Love the bread. Way better dipping it. Mm. I love the, the prunes. A little sweet. Right? The sweetness. But then obviously you pair it with this guy. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. To your health. <laughs> yeah, to my health, right? <laughs> it was a little too bitter for me. Refresh you. So this is the sea bakta cordial. So this is a berry here. Like a orange berry. Right? Mm. So vitamin mm. C shot. Oh yeah, this is like, I mean, this is super healthy. And no, no alcohol on you? What? It has only 20 degrees. Only 20? Yeah. Only. Well, I didn't feel that 20. The rest of the food. So we have the pate, we have the amazing dumplings. And over here we have, this is like a rabbit gelatin, with rabbit meat. I mean, it looks incredible. And this on top is mustard. Yeah. It's mustard. And then over here? The fried eggplant with the red pepper. Mmm, you got me an eggplant. Mm -hmm. All right. This is very like Albania right here. They love the red peppers. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, they love it. But we're in Ukraine. Let's go. So, how do we start? Are you ready, my friend? Yeah. Eggplant, red pepper, Finally. and baked. Finally, right? Yeah, it's my most expected. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Oh, man. Yes, that's why I was waiting for it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so watery, right? Like, mm. Nice and moist. And oh, sweet. Sweet as well. This is the potato chip, right? Mm. Do this. Oh, wow. Mm. I love this. If you give me like five more, I'll be happy. Yeah. No, I'm joking. No. It's American uh, call. Yeah, right? Yeah, maybe it's, a, it's potatoes, so it's like chips. Yeah, yeah, no, it's like potatoes, chips, but a little different, right? So it's a little more crispier. Mm. This is obviously an oil, right? It's good. Wow, wow, super dense, huh? Look at that, so that's rabbit meat. And traditionally, it's not rabbit meat, it's a different uh, pork, right? So they wanted to go a little different, they went with rabbit. Obviously, we have a forest right here. You got the rabbit right there, right? <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Mmm. Mmm. Combination is insane. You have the gelatin, you have the meat, and the mustard. Wow, and I love mustard. Mustard over mayo every day. Which is this? 
Yeah, so it's similar to ginger. It has some bitter flavor. Mm -hmm. Oh, very gingery. Mm. Wow. Yeah, I mean, all these spices are so like wild, right? Yeah. So, and they're all vodka. Yeah, all vodka. The strongest vodka. one, right? Yeah, the strongest one. This is easy. This is more of a juicy vodka, right? So you don't taste the vodka at all. I feel it from the last one though. I have to have one more bite of this incredible rabbit because it's the most unique and delicious rabbit of my life. Mm. You have no idea. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. Mm. So that's dill. Here we have the herring caviar. This is obviously mayo, right? Sour cream. Sour cream, okay. Mm. So sorry, it's definitely not mayo, sour cream. And you get one of these. Beautiful. Oh, this is so good. And inside is herring. A bike perch. Bike perch. Freshwater fish, like river fish. River fish. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm. Tastes better with um, everything. Yeah, it tastes better when you add everything. I think there's a lot of butter right there. <laughs> Xander. Xander. Yeah. Xander. Mmm. We have the guinea fowl pate. Okay. Okay. So this guinea fowl liver. I didn't know they had guinea fowl, but they have guinea fowl here in farms. <laughs> Pheasant liver. Mm. With carrot tender mousse. I cannot wait. Okay, so we have some more bread. Uh, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, it's like three layers. Like the top, it looks like more like a fatty layer, and then you have, you know, basically it's like mashed, right? Just eating it straight like that? Yeah, I eat it straight like that. The first I would eat it with a spoon. Mm. I, know, I know. That's what you meant with the spoon. <laughs> with a spoon, straight, yeah. Cheers. Okay. There we go. No, it's too good. It's too good. It's like, this is heaven. So I think they always do this from a bird, right? Has to be from a bird. You know what? I'm going with the big spoon. Right? Like that. Mm. I know. This is my favorite thing here. <laughs> it's too good. I mean, wow. Wow, you got the super strong one. <laughs> I do feel super strong. I feel great. What's your super strong? I, I love Eastern Europe, man. <laughs> well, that one definitely had like one degree. Okay, so we're gonna start off with an incredible sorbet. We just watched them make it, so they get like basically it's the entire fruit. They mash it, right? And what's the name of the fruit? Buckthorn. Buckthorn. And then they mix it with nitrogen, so liquid nitrogen. Just the guy keeps, you know, scrambling it, basically mixing it all together. At the end, he gets this beautiful sorbet. And this is the palate cleanser before we have the real dessert. This one, this is crazy. All right, so this is basically a chocolate ball, and inside is the pork lard. Ooh, right? And over here, this is like the most traditional uh, sweet in Kiev, right? So it's the Kiev cake. Kiev cake. cake. Yeah. That was, that's the name? Kiev yeah. cake? The, the most uh, popular Kiev dessert that they bring as a gift. Oh, so it's like many layers, right? Many layers it, it, and crunchy. Yeah, actually like I saw it yesterday, it reminds me of baklava in terms of layers, mm. right? But obviously it's different. And there's cream, and on top you put some other stuff, right? Yeah, and nuts. Nuts? So let's dive on this one. Let's cleanse our palate. Wow. Sunny color. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm. Nice. So this berry is a little more sour. No? Mm. Lots of vitamin C. A lot of vitamin C. Mm. Well, yeah, so definitely kills all the taste from everything I had before. It's so good. Mm hmm. Black currant? Black currant, yeah. Black currant with vodka? With the juniper and vodka. Juniper and vodka. So juniper is what they use to make gin. Yeah. Right? Exactly. Mm, it's nice. Not so bad. Not so strong. Yeah, but too many drinks, you'll feel it. Everything that is too much. Oh my gosh. When it gets too much, then it's salad chocolate. I wouldn't know there was pork lard in here, as you told me. But wow, it's the best chocolate bar I've ever had. So this is the Kiev cake. Kiev cake. I'm just gonna get a piece 
because my friends, I am popping right now. So it's super like crunchy, right? Just many layers of crunch. There's a word bizet for bizet. Yeah, the meringue. Mm -hmm. The meringue. Yeah. Meringue. Yeah. yeah. I love it. So it's crumbly, like very ready, right? And you have the meringue inside. Mm -hmm. And then on top you have, I guess, some frosting, right? Yeah. You want me frosting? My kids will love this. Wow, it is so good. We add a little bit uh, of cognac in it inside. Mm -hmm. Always alcohol. <laughs> so what are we drinking here? Well, I don't, I don't even know what I'm drinking. Aqua, aqua vita. Can you guess it? Apple and hazelnut. Oh, I like that. <laughs> we still have more place to go. But this place is amazing. Canapa. What is this? There's no present for you. Just remember canapa. <laughs> the problem is I might eat and drink all this before I leave the country. <laughs> <laughs> boom. 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 <laughs> bye guys. Bye. bye bye. So we're walking down the famous street again, down to the drunken monkey. And on the way. Descending. Descending, <laughs> yeah. The drunken monkey. <laughs> we have the most famous address on the street, and it's Literature Museum. And who is this guy? It's Mikhail Bulgakov, the most uh, mystical writer of the 20th century, also the most uh, read writer uh, uh, on the all, all post Soviet uh, territories. Mikhail Bulgakov and uh, his address, Andreevsky Spusk, number 13. And he's famous for a few things, but one of the cool things that he's famous for is for writing something about the witches of Kiev, which basically says that every single woman in Kiev is a witch because they're so beautiful. <laughs> that's Margarita, Master and Margarita, that's the name of the uh, noble. Yeah. Again, uh, the origin of my name probably comes from, uh, from the noble because it was the most popular uh, book in uh, uh, in those days, uh, in the generation of my parents, and even now. David, another hidden gem, Drunken Monkey. I love this place already. Look, it's like hidden, right? So it's underground, underground culture. Right here we have the times, weekdays from you know noon to 11, craft beer, craft beer culture. Oh, I can't wait, it's gonna be great. Hey. Hi, hello. Maria, how are you? I'm fine, what about you? Very good. What are we doing here? What are we drinking? We'll be drinking beer, a lot of beer, Ukrainian. And this is the Drunken Monkey. As soon as you walk in to the right, we have the cold room. So right, that's all the kegs, beautiful kegs. They actually have different types of kegs, like plastic kegs, also you know regular kegs. Over here to the left, this is like dining area. We could also drink over here. Really beautiful, lots of different paintings. There's some TVs, but it's like underground. I mean, it's awesome. This is great. And over here, they have merchandise, right? So they have beers, but then they also have different types of mugs or let's say glass, right? So they have a small, big, you know, huge ones. They also have masks here for sale, obviously COVID times. And if you keep going this way, we have the beer. Hello, <laughs> then we're done. What's up my friends? Are we ready to drink? Yes, we're ready. So they have over 20 beers on tap. Uh, a few of them are the KF brew, which is the from your city, right? Zaporizhia. Zaporizhia. And that's Zaporizhia. where the Drunken Monkey is from, right? So this is the bar area, drug money in the back. And over here we have what the artist did for each beer, okay? So these are really strong beers. The strongest beer they got right now is a 10%, no, 11% stout, Imperial. But we're gonna do like a degustacion, so we're doing like a tasting, right? Plus the, the food, oh my gosh, this is gonna be a lot. So we have some olives, huge olives. I think this is cheese balls, I'm guessing it's cheese balls. And then over here we have a salad, right? So with beef and then bread with Hmm. With sauce. Sauce. This is an Indian pale lager. It's low on alcohol, 5%, right? Yeah, 5.1. Pretty good. Oh, it's crisp. But all pilsners are like this. Super, you know, easy to drink. Very good. You want? Just one sip. Just one sip. <laughs> mm. Enjoy it, right? Yeah. Really? Cheese balls. These bros are good. I like cheese balls. Mm. Mm. Because they have 20 beers on tap, I have to choose what I really, really want to drink. And they're, they're good beers here. Oh, Ukrainian beers. All Ukraine? No, number uh, 19. Number 19 is not? Yes. All right, so I'm trying a brown imperial from the Ukraine. Oh, it's so good. Mm, super sweet. So what's in this? Uh, salty caramel. Oh, caramel. Okay, that's this is the sweetest uh, beer. With nuts. With nuts. 
I'm taking some home. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. This is the best. So number, that was number Nine. 11. We have a lot of uh, interesting for you. Go, go. <laughs> this is a sour fruited goose. 6.5%, right? Yeah. No? Mm. If you like those sour beers, <laughs> this is awesome. Yeah, I, I can't drink too many sours. You have two, three sours, tummy ache. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most popular beer here. It's a Drunken Monkey IPA, right? So what number would that be? Number 13. Lucky, lucky mm. 13. 6.3% mm. alcohol. It's nice, it's not too like cloudy, not too much bitterness. It's good, it's a nice IPA. Mm. In the States, we drink so much IPA. It's like IPA heaven. That's why I like the dark beers, because it's a little different, you know? My boy here's going all out. He's like, you're trying every beer. I'm like, okay, let's go. What's next? Uh, uh, three. Three? It's the Boozy Man Brew Orana Mara Style Imperial, 10%. Woo! I was super jet-lagged earlier, and now I feel great. Get to a bar, you always feel good. <laughs> Oh wow, mm, what is that? What's in there? What number was that? 13? Three? Three? Okay. Oh. So I have no idea what's inside it, but it's so different. What is this? Sour uh, kanapka. Okay, very good. Mm-hmm. More pate. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's like a marmalade. Nice and marmalade on top. Marmalade with oh. uh, citrus I know. <laughs> it's too good. <laughs> By the way, I love how you have your list of beers. It's like the airport, right? Yeah. Just basically, just change it on the computer. Easy, right? And this is a pumpkin ale. This is actually an imperial pumpkin, pumpkin. ale. 8.4% alcohol. A little high on alcohol, but I'm good. I like it. Mm, this is like Oktoberfest, you know. Just so you know, KF Brewery, their beers are only served here at the Drunken Monkey. So we have this one, obviously. This is the classic staple beer, Drunken Monkey IPA. This pumpkin imperial ale is from them, KF. I thought the stout was the best. This might be the best for me now. This is too much. All right, two more. No, <laughs> I'm joking. Bang, 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 bang. By the way, you're too kind. Four beers for the road. Thank you so much, my friend. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. So what is this? It's lavender, and it is used, you see, he puts them in uh, these boxes, or in these bags, and you put it in your sheets, in your linen, so it smells good. <laughs> they have this local anecdote about the cobblestones. Oh, yeah? They used to say, because this road used to connect the rich people and the common people and on the bottom there was a market so every time when the merchants were bringing their goods on the wheels they made this road shaking so when the goods fell down or fell off from the carriage people would pick up and they said that some uh, people were making the holes in the ground on purpose oh my god <laughs> you know it's so many stones uh, yeah. all different levels right Imagine no, wearing high heels. No, I can't even imagine. That's something they do here in Kiev, right? All the witches? Yeah, they're flying. <laughs> they're next to the house again. Hey, so we did it. We yeah. went to three places. We tried lots of beer, lots of food. Oh my gosh, it was epic. <laughs> and such a beautiful day and all the I know. decorations. I Incredible. All this. Yeah. So we went from the lower town, a little up, and then back to lower town. We did three spots. We went to Pankraft. We had food and beer. My favorite was the dumplings. I and the imperial style and then yeah, we went uh -huh. to Ganapa. we saw the amazing dumplings we ate lots of incredible food we had like a crazy sampler you know thing uh my favorite thing there was the guinea fowl and the last place my favorite beer was the pumpkin imperial pumpkin uh, ale. yeah when you said Oktoberfest, right yeah, yeah pumpkin, it was, uh, it was so nice, good uh, yeah yeah i mean that's the feeling right yeah and that's kiev guys we had beer food and an amazing time if you guys come out here definitely go to those three spots really close to each other obviously it'll take you a lot faster i took my time it took us like four and a half hours maybe more <laughs> all right guys so if you love the video give me a thumbs up give me a comment below turn my channel for more awesome travel content we'll see you in the next travel food adventure in kiev let's go